Hello, hello everyone. This is Janet from Mixed Media Mama. Hey, I just want to come today to share with you all of the tags I finally got done. Wow, has it just been a fabulous December tag. Oh my gosh. All of the team went well above and beyond, plus all of the other collaborators, the guest design, oh my gosh, and then all of you, wow, I was blown away. I know I say that every time, but you really outdid yourself this month, so I just wanted to come and share with you everything that you have done but in my version so come along grab a drink and come along this is my box i did not have a it's an enclosed box i just got it was one of those paper mache boxes that i had got from hobby lobby and i just took a nice big piece of muslin and then scrapped the pieces together, sewed them together, glued them on, and that's what I ended up with. And so it did house all of them, but let me tell you, it was a full box too. I'm going to put that aside and take all of these out. I just wanted to share. So here we go. Number one, I'm just not going to say everything. I did incorporate a couple of paper kits, um, not only all of Tracy's Christmases, every single her, every single one, not, a, not only the tag kit, the Advent and tag kit, but all of her other Christmas uh, kits that were released. And I will link all of those below. Also, I incorporated a Elizabeth Craft Design Christmas paper kit. It was just a big paper pack and I really thought that was pretty. And I used some of my own things and of course we all do our own style. So that's number one. Number two, this ties as as a bow and then but it's just a little envelope and then inside what is that I was so impressed by the different styles the different uh, uniquenesses of little things that you guys did with each um, each day that was just blew me away I did this as a flip out and I did the wink of Stella on that tree and then I also incorporated some um, vintage Christmas cards I took all of them out of my stash put them over on my table and I just incorporated them as I could And this little tuck spot is part of a Christmas card. And of course, I love doing stenciling. I use the oxides and then Stencil Girl stencils. Oh, love Mary Beth Shaw's. I've taken some classes from Mary Beth Shaw and her stencils are just fabulous. Here's just another little Christmas card. Isn't she just adorable? Made it into a flip lots of tucks and tags this little one is i made it's really easy you can make your own tickets take whatever scene or book page you put it and make it a little rectangle and then you take a single punch and you punch each end and you have your own ticket and then of course the tim holtz and there is number four, day four. I love the images. Oh, goodness, that was just so 
wonderful day five. Tracy, these this kit was just so, so pretty. And what was so great that each of us and all of you put your own spin on the tags. And that's what I would love to see was your own spin. Now this one, I took a Tim Holtz. I had a Tim Holtz evergreen die and I cut it out of the Elizabeth Craft uh, paper pack. And I, this is the negative of that. You can still kind of see the evergreen, but I just really wanted to um, incorporate one of Tracy's Christmas cards. And then this is one of the newer dies. I just thought it was really cool. Then did a little stamping there. This is day eight. I love that little Santa. And that this is the one that says not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. This was would have been the mouse one. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is just stunning, Tracy. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I took apart a Christmas card. You can see. And I used Seth Apter's Vintage Beeswax on it. And it really just made it stand out. That was Old State Nick. And just kind of collaged papers. Did some stenciling. You can see the stencil, the different, the circles there. And of course, I just had to make a little library pocket out of a book page and then this is another different the background is a, from another winter kit that tracy put out this last month and i just incorporate that that's just a nice little tuck spot right there magic and believe it just really fit well And then, of course, number 11 is just uh, that little gnome. Oh, how adorable is that? Number 11. I believe this was inspired by Debbie Kipp. And there are some more. She used a, a crackle. Um, and just really there, I do have some more. But um, that one really is the only one that you can see outside of this little thing. Oh, that is so cute. And of course, number 12 was my day. And I will link the video below as well as all of the other videos. And the whole playlist. This is number 13. This is a die from Elizabeth Craft. I like them. I love to incorporate different things. And then the stars were from Tracy's another um, kit, I believe. I will link that below. I'm not sure if it's a kit or if it was part of Freebie. No, I think it was a kit. But anyway, here is that beautiful Santa. And hello winter. And then the cut the nut cracker. I loved putting um, dried tea bags behind things or making them look grungy. You can kind of see the, the tea bag right there. It just gives it a little bit of a grunge. And I mean everybody knows I'm all about grunge. Love grunge. And here's just another little tuck spot. I used the paper and some leftovers scraps from the Elizabeth die or Elizabeth Craft um, paper pack. And then, of course, it was day 15 with the let it sew, let it sew with the buttons. 
That is so cute. And then, of course, a butterfly. That was part of one of the days, and I'm not sure which one. Sometimes I had a hard time keeping my hands out of all of the other days. And, of course, this was so beautiful. Um, I'm not sure who inspired me on this one, but it was whoever it was. Thank you. It was just really stunning. You did a, so a, a fabulous job on out or making her fur stand out even more. And so I use some light paste and it just dried. It made it look really like she had a beautiful, nice fur on, around her. She's such a pretty image. Beautiful girl. And of course, this was so much fun. I, I took the actual background here along with the heart and the stag. And of course, I vintage beeswaxed them, put made that into a nice little tuck behind there. And this is number 17. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun with this one. With the little cups, you have flip, I just sewed that to a back of a tag, flipped it open, and day 18, Tim Holtz, I used some of the um, watercolor pencils that he has now. I love them, love them, and then I just layered in the back. And then to give the sheen here, I used Perfect Pearls. It is a powder, and I just dipped my brush, my paintbrush, into all kinds. Then then it's a it's an older product, and I believe it still is produced. You just have to go. It's called Perfect Pearls. Okay, day 19. This is just another flip. Oh, look at that beautiful little gnome. I made that into a nice little tuck on the top of the tag. It's just remnants with a little 19 there. You can see the two tags behind. I believe this one was from a previous day. And I just used it. I thought that was really cool. Now, this one is, you can tell that this is the top of the tag. I basically just folded it in half. And then um, since it was printed out on ivory paper, um, I did add another one of Tracy's tags to make it a little bit more um, wintry looking. And then I splattered it. And then I used a, another Christmas card that I have. And you will see that this little tag and that go together on the same day. And, of course, this is the 20th. And then I stenciled, remembered the magic, and used some 49th and Market rub-ons. And here is the other half of that Christmas card. Oh, I love finding going through my own stash that it was that was a great thing i just pulled out all of the christmas cards and that i had and i just if i could incorporate them i did this is a nice little tag i let the little banners up to make it look like a, a 3d and day 21 Used the Saint Nick and the tree on a leftover scrap of Elizabeth Craft. And of course, Jingle All the Way. I love incorporating digitals with scrapbooking paper because it just is, it's fun. The scrapbooking paper is a, has a little bit more tooth. The digitals has a lot of diversity of options of looks and so that's what I really did here this is just a nice little library card thing and I just made it into a nice tuck spot 
I believe the day was the 23rd and it had all of those beautiful stars, as you can tell by this tag. So I cut out one of Tracy's birds on her other Christmas kit and put it all together. I loved how that turned. That was so sweet. And of course, this, who doesn't love a, a good collage of those? They are so pretty. Made it into, had a little scrap, made it into a little tuck spot. And, you know, and since this is day 24, I'm really get, kind of getting to my scraps of all of the other papers and cards that I used. So I had to be creative. So that was day one through day 24. And I, I told Tracy that I would be honored to do another video on Boxing Day and um, 26th, 25th and 26th. This, and I will link that video below too. And this is so, so simple. And I thought it turned out really well. And had a little nice little stained doily there and a little map on the back and there is a postcard using the tip of that and it just worked out really well and this was one of my favorites oh i loved how this one turned out. There was a lot of layering, a lot of layering. And the door just opens up. There's a piece of really thin acetate, like you're looking into the window. There you go, you can see that shine. And then I fussy cut it there again. I will Put the video down below. So thank you. I just had such fun doing all of these and showing you. And until the next time, I am working on a couple of journals for Tracy. And uh, you guys are the greatest. Thanks for watching and subscribing and liking and have a good new year until next time. Thanks. Bye.